Mississippi Security License. In MS, there are certain requirements to meet if you want to get a Mississippi Security License. All guards have to undergo a full background check and submit their fingerprints. Besides, unarmed officers should be at least 18 years old, have a high school diploma, not have any previous convictions, crime and felony. Future armed officers should be at least 21 years old, be a U.S. citizen or a registered resident, have a Mississippi driver's license have a good physical condition, be mentally stable, not have past or present drug dependence, have a weapon permission, show proof of special training. To apply for the permit, it is possible to fill in the form online. It is also possible to do it in person at the firearm permit unit. The form includes different questions. The questions usually refer to Mental state and addictions Criminal story Military service discharge Domestic violence, subject to notarization After filling in the paper, bring it to the Department of Public Safety Headquarters. The fee for that is $132. This includes a background screening, which is $32. The payment can be made by debit card, MasterCard, or Visa. It is also possible to pay in cash. Additionally, you will need to present a headshot that was taken in the last 30 days. Finger mark cards are generally prepared by the state's Highway Patrol of Public Safety. For this purpose, the residents can visit one of the substations below. Brookhaven, Biloxi, Batesville, Greenwood, Meridian, New Albany, Starkville. In case the investigation reveals any type of felony or crime, the person will get a rejection. Above all, training is not conducted at a state level. Generally, the hiring agencies organize it. They usually include the following. Legal aspects and documentation. The main role of the employee. Patrol. First aid. Working with public. Mississippi Security License Renewal. Usually, the permits are valid for four years. 90 days before the expiry date, the DPS notifies and attaches the renewal form. You can renew it before the expiration date or after it. However, there is a $15 fine in case of delay, up to 6 months. Still, if the delay is more than 6 months, the person has to apply as a first-time candidate. The fee is $50. There is only a $32 fingerprinting fee for retired law enforcement officials. The replacement is $15 for lost or destroyed certificates. A notarized statement is necessary for this. Thanks for watching. Visit licensesearch.org for more information. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.